there have been a lot of uh, debates about the Massachusetts health care reform legislation that was passed on a bipartisan basis in 2006. Now, many of my fellow conservatives have said that uh, this is not, this is similar to Obamacare. It is fundamentally the government taking over health care. I would like to present the facts uh, as I see them both the negatives and the positives of this plan. First of all, let me start off with saying that uh, I understand that individual mandates probably aren't the best way to go with regards to health care. The Massachusetts plan did have uh, individual mandates and employer mandates. Uh, I, I, you know, you can make the argument for employer mandates. I, I don't believe it. The, I, I don't know if you can make the argument for individual mandates. Second of all, uh, the plan is going to cost over $200 million over budget by uh, the year 2011. Those are about the only negatives of the bill I can honestly think of. Uh, the only other one is I don't think it really did much in reducing premiums by much. Um, however, you know, premiums have increased across the country. I don't know as a factual number. I know that, uh, you know, I have heard from person who signed the bill himself, Governor Mitt Romney, claims that the rate that premiums have gone up in Massachusetts are slower compared to the rest of the nation. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. I haven't, there's no evidence to suggest that that isn't true, yet I'm not positive that is true. Um, I'll mark it as probably true because if it wasn't true, then the liberal media would be jumping all over it. So those are some of the negatives of the bill. The positives are that it fundamentally did not raise taxes. Uh, there was no broad-based tax increase to pay for, to pay for it. Uh, another positive was that more people got health care. The number of the uninsured in Massachusetts has dropped uh, to some 98% of the people in the state now have health care through the private market, not a government-run plan. Um, it also did not cut Medicare. It did not. Uh, it it honestly did not cost as much, uh, if you take a look at it, if it cost one billion dollars in one state, uh, you know, that that's going to cost, I mean, that's going to be, for the entire country, let's say, hypothetically, that let's say it cost one billion dollars by 2011. And over 10 years, that would then cost, you know, that would, do the math here, that would cost, uh, if you do the math, one, one billion times the amount that it would cost uh, each each year for all 50 states, you would still notice that one billion for each state times 50 would be $50 billion a year. Over 10 years, that would cost $500 billion. The president's proposal is going to cost a trillion dollars. So you have to figure that this plan would cost somewhere between 40 and 50 percent less than the president's health care proposal. It doesn't have a government takeover. It doesn't, uh, and, and it doesn't have higher taxes. Now, should this plan go national? Again, the author of the bill himself, Governor Mitt Romney, believes that, uh, he, he believes that people, that, that the health care bill should stay in Massachusetts because that states should have the choices to make on health care. If Washington has to pass a national health care bill, I would want it to be based off this bill because this bill had no public option, it had no tax increases, and it had no cuts in Medicare, and it isn't going to cost that much. It would cost much less than the president's proposal. So I, I want to straighten out the record and say, I, do I endorse Romney Care? I don't endorse every aspect of it necessarily, but I do support Romney Care, and I believe that uh, the Massachusetts health care plan has worked.